Hello, and welcome to Godly Play at St. Peter's Episcopal Church in Arlington, Virginia. Our, our story today is the Godly Play story of Daniel. We start our Godly Play session with a simple prayer. I say to you, the Lord be with you, and you respond, and, and also, also with you. The first thing we will do is look at our Godly Play calendar with all the Sundays of the year. And we've come from Pentecost all the way through, and this is the last Sunday of Pentecost. So that's where our marker is today. We're getting into the purple um, squares, and purple is a time of preparing. This is Advent when we will be preparing for Christmas. So to get ready to listen to the story, we do our prayer of three breaths, or we take three breaths to get ready to listen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The people were in exile. They had been in Babylon for a long time and were getting used to living there. Some people even had jobs at the court of the king. Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, all had jobs at the court. God had blessed them with intelligence, wisdom, and skill. The king had a dream. He dreamed he saw a shining figure, and as he watched it, it broke apart and flew away in the wind. The king did not know what it meant, and neither did his advisors. So they asked Daniel. Daniel told them what it meant. It meant that kingdoms of the world would be destroyed, only God's kingdom would last forever. Another day, the king took gold and made a large statue in the shape of a person. He commanded that all the people, when they heard special music, should bow down and worship the statue. If they did not, if they did not obey, they would be thrown into a furnace of fire. Now Daniel's three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, would not worship this statue. So they were thrown into the furnace of fire. But God sent an angel to protect them, and not a hair on their head was hurt. The king had another dream. Again, the wise men did not know what it meant, so they sent for Daniel. Now in the dream, the king saw a tree, a tall tree touching the sky. It was full of beautiful leaves and fruit. Animals took shelter underneath it, and its branches were filled with birds. Then the Holy One came down, cut down the tree, the animals fled, and the birds flew away. So the king asked Daniel what this meant. Daniel prayed to God, and God showed him the meaning. Daniel said to the king, You are the tree. You are strong and great, but you will be driven away and you will be forced to live for seven years like an animal eating grass. Now the dream came true. King Dari, uh, King, the king was, thrown, uh, was driven away and had to live like an animal. When he came back though, he worshiped the one true God. After a while, the king died and his son began to rule. 
the king's son did not know the one true God. One day, the, the new king decided to throw a feast. And in the feast, he used holy things that had come from the temple in Jerusalem that the people of Babylon had brought back to their country. While the feast uh, was going on, suddenly the guests saw a human hand writing words on a wall. The king called for Daniel to explain what this could mean. The words were, Mene, Mene, Tikal, Parson, which meant, God will bring this king's rule to an end and the kingdom will be given to the Persians. And that very night, the dream came true. The king was killed and King Darius took over the kingdom. Now King Darius divided the kingdom into 120 parts, ruled by three people. One of the people was Daniel. The other two people who were ruling the kingdom were jealous of Daniel because they knew that he was God's favorite. I mean, I'm sorry, they knew that he was the king's favorite. They decided to trick the king into making a new law that Daniel would not be able to obey. The new law said that everyone had to pray only to King Darius, and if not, they, they would be thrown into the lion's den. One day, Daniel was caught in his room, praying to God, facing Jerusalem. And so the king was upset, but the law is the law. And so he ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. King kept thinking about Daniel, and the next morning he ran to the lion's den and called for Daniel. And Daniel answered, He said, God sent an angel to keep me safe. After that, the king was glad and he called for Daniel to be pulled out of the lion's den, and the other two who had tricked the king were thrown into the lion's den and killed. After this, Daniel was honored and prospered the rest of his life. Now, Daniel also had visions and dreams himself. One day, he dreamed of four great beasts. The first was like a lion, but had great wings. The second was a huge bear-like creature with ribs in its teeth. The third looked like a leopard, but had four heads and four wings. And the last beast was the most terrifying beast of all. He had iron teeth and many horns growing out of his head. And as Daniel watched, another horn grew out of his head and destroyed some of the other horns, and the beast was killed. The other three beasts were not killed, but they lost all their power. When Daniel woke up, he did not understand what this dream meant, but his helper told him that what it meant was there will be four kings, but their power will not last only God's kingdom lasts forever. Another time, Daniel was standing by the river and he saw the vision of a ram with great horns charging around, destroying things. And as the ram charged and destroyed things, it got stronger and stronger. Suddenly, a male goat appeared from the west, almost as if it was flying. The goat charged the ram 
and broke its horns and trampled it into the ground. When Daniel saw this vision, he did not know what it meant. But God sent the angel Gabriel to him to help him understand. Gabriel said that these vision, this vision was a vision of the end times when a king would arise who was more evil than all the rest. The dream frightened Daniel, and he prayed to God for many days, asking God to forgive the people their sins and asking God to restore the city of Jerusalem. Daniel remembered that the prophet Jeremiah had said in 70 years, the, the city of Jerusalem will be restored. The temple will be restored, but it was still in ruins. So Gabriel appeared again. Gabriel said, the Lord has heard your prayers and sent me to you to help you understand. Gabriel said, the prophet Jeremiah really meant 70 times seven which was a much longer time period than anyone thought. This was because the sin of the people was so great. Now these words filled Daniel with such sadness. He fasted and prayed for three weeks, and then God sent Daniel another vision. In this vision, Daniel saw a figure dressed like a man with a gold um, belt around its waist. When Daniel saw him, he fell to the ground, but then he felt a hand reach out to him and lift him up. The figure like a man said to Daniel, do not be afraid, be strong and courageous. I have come to help you understand these things. The figure like a man explained, the power of all kings comes to an end. This time will be difficult, but God will stay close to God's people and will deliver them from danger. They will live with God forever. The figure like a man told Daniel to keep all these things secret. He promised Daniel that all would be well for him and for the people of God. And that's our story for today. I wonder what part you liked best. I wonder what part you think is the most important. I wonder what part you thought was about you or maybe a part that you felt you were in. I wonder if there's any part of the story that you think we could leave out and still have enough story to tell. There was a lot in today's story you may want to take a paper and draw a picture of some part of the story. You may want to talk about it with someone else in your, um, in your house. I wonder what you'll do with this story today. Thank you for listening. Have a happy Thanksgiving.